Hello guys, we're um, just watching Mother Otter. We'd never seen an otter in England until January 2021. And now, we can't stop seeing them. Hello guys, this video is about otters. We've literally seen otters for the last six weeks in this location. Uh, we've now started to see them on our Grebe Lake uh, Reserve. So this video is really a case of, I know a few people have said, oh, never seen an otter. Um, so this is a few tips that we've picked up in the last two years about uh, how to see and how to spot where to go, when to see them, uh, what signs to look for. So I hope you enjoy it. So the first tip is, if you're walking along a river or around a mere or a lake, always take a quick look at the surface of the water. I was filming this beautiful moonlit dawn with an otter feeding and I noticed that someone was walking along the opposite side of the lake but they hadn't spotted the otter, they weren't looking and they were a lot closer than me, just a little glance and they would have seen it. It's how we saw our first one, back in January 21, just a brief glimpse. Once we'd seen the first one, we saw loads. And I think it's because we just started to look for them. So between November last year and October this year, we hadn't seen any otters. It was honestly because we hadn't really been looking. We'd been wandering about, taking some photographs of other stuff. We'd never really been studying the water. But right at the start of or end of September, I went out and started to really actively look for them. And there they were. Well, we're always out just before dawn and that's when we've seen most of our sightings. But we've also been out just before dusk and we've seen a couple of sightings then too. So the best time is just after dawn or just before dusk. We're always looking for unusual ripples on a lake or a river. This grainy footage that we took in near darkness shows an otter swimming across a lake. The ripples disappear. I panned over to the right and you can just see an otter getting out onto the bank. And here an otter has just swum around the back of the scrub you can see and it's a really calm lake but those ripples are giving it away. Here we've just been watching an otter and it had swum to the left of the picture and gone into some reeds you can see the ripples. Now this could possibly be a cormorant or, or a diving duck, maybe even a grebe. But the thing about otters is they can't stay under the water for more than about 20 seconds. So if you keep watching you've got a great chance. Another really good sign is bubbles. We don't see ducks or cormorants, grebes leaving bubbles on the surface, but otters always do. And the thing about ripples is sooner or later whatever's under the water, unless it's a fish, has got to come up. Here there's uh, telltale bubbles on the right and it looks like the shape of an otter on the surface. But here, and that's a fish I think in the foreground. But bubbles on the left, you can see the bubbles and then there it is, the otter surfaced. And 
and then we saw this big male last year. The ripples were the first thing we saw as we walked along the river bank. So yeah, just keep your eye out when you're along a river bank or mere or little lake. They could be anywhere, but the ripples give them away. They have to make ripples when they're in the water. The other thing to say is that most of our sightings have been in autumn or winter, and I think that's because the vegetation has died back and it's much easier to get sightings. Yeah, focusing the camera. Here's some classic footage of me messing it up when I had an otter really close at hand. One of the things we've noticed is that if there are otters around, the other wildlife behaves very differently. Certainly the small ducks, moorhens, coots disappear. They don't want to be anywhere near an otter. Even swans, geese will try and avoid otters. This is because the otter is top of the food chain. In the similar way that you see crows and rooks, jackdaws, magpies attacking a bird of prey, or mobbing a bird of prey, gulls do it to otters. We've seen it two or three times. They're trying to drive them out of the territory. Or maybe it's to make them let go of a fish. along the end the far side a long way away so once you spot an otter keeping track of where it is can prove really difficult we've struggled a lot in the last few weeks and that's because they can travel a long distance underwater even though they can only stay underwater for about 20 seconds we reckon they swim at least 40 yards before they have to come up when they're fishing it isn't too bad because they tend to come up in a fairly similar area to where you've seen them go down This is what happened the other day. Here we're just trying to work out which direction the otter is travelling in. She's out here. She's on her own again. Look at that. She's just sussing us out, you know. a bit nervous
Listen, oh, there she is. You can see here that the bubbles have given away her location. Sometimes they will just sit on the surface and watch. Hello guys. Hello guys, we're um, just watching Mother Otter. Me and Sue watching this. It's just a fantastic experience. Um, we're probably, I don't know, we're probably 60, 70 yards away, but it's so cool to watch her. She comes out with the cubs then they seem to go back and after a few minutes she comes out on her own just to suss suss the area out and she's doing a bit of fishing and doing a bit of watching us we then really struggled to keep track of her as she moved fast down to the bottom end of the lake she goes so far underwater again. yeah she goes so far underwater mm. oh here um. Wrong. Going to Moving back towards the other end. Gone. There. Yeah, moving that way now, quite fast. Yeah. Is that where she sleeps? Yeah. We moved down to the bottom end of the lake. The wind had gone up and there was a few waves. But we still saw her and it seemed to me that the two cubs were now out on the lake. One of the things we've learned is that the you can see this one with a the fish. They do eat the fish, smaller fish, in the water. When, there is, when they get a bigger fish, they tend to come back to eat it on land. I think the mother must have picked up our scent because suddenly she tail slapped in the water and the two cubs swam back really fast towards us. And then I managed to record them with the uh, two cubs swimming back towards us trying to get onto a little promontory with some scrub and you can hear them actually calling to the mother. The first thing you can hear is a kingfisher but then eventually you hear the squeaks and chirs of the otters. And in slow motion. And before I knew it, they were gone. So I hope you've enjoyed this one guys. Don't forget, if you're out any body of water, rivers, lakes, mirrors, and you see some ripples, you never know, it could just be an otter. 
next week. I look forward to showing you Mute Swan versus Otter versus Mink. See you next week. Thank you.